Now, earlier on in the series, I was invited to Westfield to test drive some of their cars, and I couldn't resist coming back to find out more about their race team from one of their drivers, Richard. Hello. Hi. So, how long have you been racing for? About 14 seasons now. And you've got a connection with Westfield, haven't you? Yeah, I'm the son of the owner. Good start, I think. <laughs> Always helps. So, tell me a bit about this car. This is the car you drive, is it? Yeah, this is the latest model we're doing. It's called the Mega Busser. It's uh, for a new championship with a 1300cc Suzuki engine. Right. A um, little bit different to the road cars that you probably drove earlier in the year. Yeah. Uh, it's made with a lightweight chassis, lightweight bodywork. Suspension is quite a lot different. Much bigger brakes, much quicker steering. Quicker than the one I tried? <laughs> quite a lot quicker. And the whole clutch thing I found really difficult to start off. I just kept stalling it again and again and again and again, remember? So I'd find that even harder in one of these. Probably, but in race mode we only use it to, to, to start. Yeah, of course, unless you stall, which you wouldn't do. Which we won't. So tell me a bit more about the racing. I mean, how easy is it to get into if I wanted to race, say? Just for example. Just for example. Um, the regulations now state that you must go on an ARDS course, which is an advanced racing school um, course, to see if you're basically sensible enough to drive a car. Right. Um, once you've passed that, you can just apply for the, to the RAC MSA for a license and then you can go and buy a car and go racing. And the course you're talking about, do you have to do like lessons before as in a car test or a bike test? No, it's just a one day lesson. Okay. And do you need to like have any pre-knowledge of racing before you go to this? Not much so. On that day they'll teach you how to do it. This sounds good. And cost? Cost. This year is about £265 for a full day's course. Then you need to get a license, which is about £50. Overalls, helmets, boots, roughly around £1,000, depending on the make and quality that you purchase. Ah, so you don't have to win the lottery, like my suit. It's a bit like a bumblebee, I know, but keep you safe. So when's your next race? Two weeks' time at Snetterton. Really? Yes. Can we get there, do you think, to go and have a look? How do you think you're going to do? Uh, well, last three meetings we've finished one, two, so we're looking confident. Who's your biggest competitor? Uh, my, my team driver, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, he's beat me three times so far this year. Did you say she? He. Oh. Never mind. Still room for one, then. Right then, Rich, do you think I can fit in that? We'll give it a go. Come on. Now, I understand the seats are made specifically for the drivers? Yes. Yeah, just so you don't have too much movement when you're in the car, really. Does that, is that like when you have to sit in the bag with the polystyrene balls and they suck it off? Very similar. Right. Ah. I think, Houston, we have a problem. I think your bum's a little smaller than mine. <laughs> no, clearly uh, not. Oh, well, just a bit. I think it's probably a bar of chocolate, one too many or yeah. something. Well, basically, basically, just strap yourself in the car. You've got like an aeroplane buckle here. Right. And here. And here. And it goes here. In there. And you just pull those down until you feel they're tight enough for, for your Snug own safety. as a bug in the rug. Well, I completely understand why it has to be this tight, obviously, because then you're not going to move about. I think I'm jammed in like a sardine, actually. Yeah, you do get a lot of inertia, you know, when you're driving around the corners and under braking. That's why you've got it across the shoulders as well. And um, just point of interest, do you wear a helmet when you're racing? Or yes. And goggles, or is no, it full, full visor? Helmet, full visor. Because I couldn't see a thing when we were speeding along the other day because my eyes were just full of water. So tell me some more modifications that you've got on the car. The main ones, really, are the brakes. We've got uh, big touring car style AP brakes on the front. Um, which make a huge difference over the, over the standard road going cars. Yeah. Um, we've got a slightly modified clutch. We've got full competition nitron dampers. And then basically we've just got basic instrumentation. Um, just a rev counter, oil and water uh, pressures and temperatures. Just enough that we, you know, so we can glance down and see exactly what we, what we need to see. And how long does the race last for, the ones that you do? Anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. A lot of so concentration. It's a long time, you know, to, to be concentrating and try and get the same lapping lap after lap. Do you do all the fitness regime that the Formula One guys we, we do? do so? We do a small amount, but probably not that much. Do you need a fitness trainer? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't afford you. Well, I think as I'm nice and fit and I can just about fit in, I think I'm ready to have a go now. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Are you going to show me how to get out though? No. What? Just no, work. you just have to work it out. But I can't. You have to start somewhere. <laughs> 